Hello, I'm Mark Shinesk, Senior Application Engineer with Silo Design Solutions. In this video, I'll be presenting the second in the series of using the Autodesk Connector for ArcGIS Online within Autodesk products. If you remember last week, we used the Autodesk Connector to ArcGIS Online to bring in data into Map 3D to create a map of parcel and centerline data. In this video, I'm going to be switching over to Civil 3D and show you how I can bring that same data in as Civil 3D Civil Object Data. Now in Civil 3D, I've already set up my drawing coordinate system. If I go to my settings here, you can see that I've set up for Missouri State Plains East Zone US Foot and AD83. With that, I'm going to hit the Insert tab in Civil 3D, and here I'll find an icon for the Autodesk Connector for ArcGIS. I'll go ahead and click on that. It's going to open up a map. And I'm going to find my area here. I'm in St. Louis. I can again zoom to area in the map, use the whole map. I can insert a polygon shape file, or I can use the connector here to draw a rectangle of my area of interest. I can connect to public data or data that I've published in my content. In this case, last time I brought in the parcel data, the center lines, and some Metrolink points and lines. I'll go ahead and connect to that same data. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick the largest of the data, my parcel area. This may take a little while. So you can see it is zoomed into the area where my parcel data is at. But this time, instead of just bringing in as area data, it's asking me here how I want to bring this data in. So I'm going to select a feature type. I can either bring it in the corners as cocoa points, feature lines, but I'm going to choose to bring it in as parcel data. I'm going to go ahead and click the button that says add to my design product and it's going to go ahead and start querying and reading that data into my drawing. Now, depending on the data size that you have, this can take several minutes, so it would be good to, to cultivate that data and maybe break it out in smaller layers on your ArcGIS online site. So now it's going to go ahead, it's reading it in, it's actually creating the parcels in my drawing, and then once the little bar finishes up here, I'll go ahead and zoom to that data and you can see the kind of objects that we have in here. Now currently I can read data directly in from the RTS online site into my Civil 3D drawing, but if there are any changes that get created within Civil 3D, I could publish them back to a new layer, but I can't go ahead and update the layer that is uh, the information from. Uh, conversely, I can go into or somebody can curate the data and make edits in ArcGIS online, but I would not get that data automatically downloaded. I would go have to go ahead here and manage and delete the parcel data I have in here and re-import that. Well, as you see, as I zoom in, that parcel data has now come in as Civil 3D parcels. If I select on the Gateway Arch Park here, you can see there is a, in the property, it is a parcel. Um, just like any other parcel, I can go ahead and, and change its style from property to open space, single family, um, any of the styles that I would have in here, plus any of the label styles that I would normally use. You can see as I zoom in, it's labeled this uh, SDL parcel area part. So that is the name of the layer on ArcGIS Online, plus the name of the parcel. I'll go ahead and bring in a few more types of data. Again, I'll come back to the Autodesk connector for ArcGIS. This time, I'm going to go to my contact and I'm going to choose the street center lines and I'm going to bring those in as civil 3D alignments. I'll add that to my design project. Just like it did with the parcels, it's going to go ahead, read the data and import those alignments into my drawing. And there we go. And you can see it has brought those all in as the default alignment style. So if I click on these alignments, there you can see it's alignment proposed and I get some uh, data with that as well. All right, let's choose a couple more items here. Um, I'll go ahead to my Insert tab, um, Connector for ArcGIS. I'll pick those Metrolink stations that I brought in last time. There's the Metrolink points. This time I'll bring those in as Kogo points. Add to the design project, and it's gonna go ahead and bring those in as Kogo point data. And then finally, I'll go ahead and I can add some uh, buildings in, or um, I will go ahead and go to my connector, and I'll bring the metro line in as a feature line instead of an alignment. So I'll say feature lines, 
and add to my design product. Okay, uh, and that's all I'm going to do in this particular drawing. So we'll keep it short for this time. Uh, if you join me for the next video, there we go. We can see those Metrolink lines are feature lines in Civil 3D. I hope you join me for the next video. In part three, we'll go ahead and show you how you can use ArcGIS connector or Autodesk connector for ArcGIS for uh, Civil 3D gravity pipe networks and also uh, show you how we can go ahead and create pipe networks from that data. In the meantime, um, if you have any questions, you may email me at mshinesk at siler-ds.com. Please follow and subscribe to our blog at www dot siler dscom forward slash blog for more tips, tricks, news items on Autodesk products and other uh, software. And I hope this video has helped uh, introduce you to more of the Autodesk connector and hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.